Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Boulder Canyon. We've got our load right here, which is not the smoothest of loads, but it'll do just fine. So, at the moment, we've got our Deutz without a front weight on it. And I would like to alter this one so that it does have a front weight on it. We'll run without the hydraulics for a while, I think, because that way we can keep using the front loader without having to keep chopping and change, uh, without having to keep chopping and changing the, you know, taking off the front hydraulic to put the front loader on and then putting it back again. So if we just get a front weight and we put on the front of the tractor and we run that alongside the front loader, I think that would work out a bit better for us. The downside to it is, of course, that we don't have the front link when we want it. But for the most part, we're not actually using it. Like, the only thing I can think of where we really want the front links is when we're doing a trip over to the dealership. We don't seem to be using it any other time. Let's just unload that a minute. Right there, and... Um, there. There. 21,000, and we've got two logs left up there. 21,800, and that bit right there, another 1,000, that's uh, 22, that's tw 23,000 euros, should be dollars. 23,000 dollars of worth of timber right there so that puts us on 15 grand already and we want to go and sell those bales because we've got the prices uh they've stopped going up at 269 per thousand liters that's going to put us well in excess of a thousand dollars a bale which is absolutely fantastic so we've got a few bales there that we want to sell and then once we've done that let's just slide a we always struggle with that little bit right there. That's the one bit that we struggle with on this ramp is just pulling down that top bit there. And partly it's because of the angle restrictions on sort of moving up and down on the dolly. It doesn't let us um, move up and down very much compared to like the side to side movement and stuff like that. So yeah, it's, it's game limitations a little bit. We're going to uh, blah, blah, blah. We'll go and put this one over, well, back over where it goes, next to the hired help housing. Then we can go and get a, go and get that trailer hooked on. We also want to spread a bit of fertilizer, so we're going to have to get a load of fertilizer on as well. And we'll start getting that spread. I'm going to bring this one here. I'm actually going to take it right over here like this. And I'm going to leave it right there. So I'll unhook you there. And we're going to get our bale of... A bale of tra... I always say this is always one slip that I always make. Bale of trailers. I'll go and get our bale of trailers. Let's try a trailer of bales. We could also move a trailer of bales instead of a, a, a bale of trailers. And we'll bring this one over here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to that point right there and I'm just going to take the straps off and we'll see if it sells immediately. It doesn't. So what we want to do is we actually want to put it to that point right there and then control I and tip them all off. And we'll just tip them all off down here like this and that'll do them all one after the other. Sell the whole lot. At least I'm hoping it will. There we go. 2,000. It does do them all individually, so we didn't quite see how much we got, but I think if we go in here, I mean, we did pretty well out of that. If we go in here today, uh, sold bales, 11,876. That's pretty good going, I think, for, as far as bales are concerned. $11,000 on there. So we've now got 27000 We need a bit of fertilizer to go on here. We're going to need a bit of seed to go up onto the land up on the top. I'm going to swing out round behind, and I'm going to put this trailer here. Then we're going to get our front loader on. I'm actually going to go and get the weight, I think, in just a second. I'm going to leave that one there. 
Then we'll go and just change over and we'll put the weight on. We'll spend the money now on getting this front weight installed. So I'm going to go to there, like that. And I want to go to Customize. So configuration there, I don't want the front hydraulic, I want the biggest front weight that we can have. We want the front loader attachment. Uh, hydraulic. Wait, what? Allo con... Oh! That's a new bit that's been added. That one right there is a new bit that's been added. Does that allow me to have that and the front weight? Uh, no, the front hydraulic, it doesn't. But yeah, this this was a new attachment here. The stole console, hydraulic connection old, aloe console. I've no idea what those are, but we'll we'll go with this. I don't know if it makes a difference in. Oh, I think it makes a difference inside. So I, th I think it's over this side. I think that's the bit that makes a difference. There, stole console. Like that. Uh, and then I've got no. Allo console there. Is that added that's added something inside? Look. Yeah, that's add, that's added a bit in there. Hydraulic connection old. And then you've got the allo console in there, which is that bit. And that connection there. Hydraulic connection old. It's the classic old connections there. Um, stole console. I don't know which one I should be using. I'm going to assume that that is the one that we want right there. Yes. Right. Let's just make sure that we can go and hook this on. It's just the original stole con uh, connections and stuff there. You may have gathered this week, I have got a little bit of a cold. It's kind of come back yet again. I don't think I quite got rid of it. I did have that cold before. It was causing me issues, and it, I, I don't think it quite disappeared. So now I have a cold again, which is just wonderful. Right, so we can bring that one up onto there, and... It does actually hit that front weight, right? It is actually catching the front weight on the, the stole thing right there. But we're going to ignore the nasty click through. We're just going to pretend that that's not actually happening. And we're going to run with this anyway. Yeah, look at that great big front weight stuck out there. Um, that's, that is something that we are going to completely ignore. We're going to come up around here. And this is the problem with having multiple pallets there. Is they don't fill the same pallet all the time. They, they, they move through multiple different pallets. Now, if you have this and you have it tilted over, sometimes what it does is that it empties out into the pen at the same time as you're picking it up, which is actually pretty cool, because it just means all you've got to do is drive through. You don't actually have to worry about doing anything else to it. Didn't really do that a great deal that time, but it, it did a little bit. Okay, so grass and hay is absolutely fine. Cleanliness is now fine. Water, we've only got a 1,000 litres in there. We want to get a bit more, so we will just lift that one up like that a minute. And we will come round this way. Put this one going. We want to get started on... Well, we've got fertilizer to spread. I can put... I can just start unloading there. Like that. We've got fertilizer to spread. And we've got... Um, stumps to go and grind as well. We've got a whole load of stumps to grind. And we're going to want to remove... All of the stumps off of the field. Now, I'm sort of thinking that uh, we'll leave the fertilizer for a minute because we've got, if you look on here, we want to include the grass as well, like that, we go like that. We've got a little bit of growth there, but not very much. If we start going over the rest of it, we can then fertilize the entire thing all at once. Uh, ignore those two. We've got one layer of fertilizer over that bit. Once we plow up this piece here... And add that in as well. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen with in regards to fertilizer. Whether we're going to need to add more fertilizer onto this side. Or if it will count that as one fertilized state because of the grass that we're plowing in. I don't quite remember how it deals with it. So w w that, that'll be something for us to find out. Let's back you up there. 
start loading up. Even though the water doesn't cost anything, you do still have to have a positive amount of money in order to be able to pump water into your tanker. So we just want to wait for that one to fill up there. And as soon as we've done this, we'll go back over to the sheep and we will finish topping those up, which is not very much now. And what do we like for 187 litres of wool? What's happened is that the one pallet there has decided, to, like that one's reached just over the halfway point and it's putting wool into the empty pallet instead of finishing this one off first. I'd like it to finish off that one first before it moves on to the other one, but if it's not going to do that, it's not going to do that. There's not a lot that we can do about it. So we'll bring our water tanker back over. I'm not going to leave this one permanently parked in front of the sheep. It seems a bit wrong leaving it permanently there. So what I'll do is we'll unload what little water that we do need, like that, and then I'm going to move this one back and I'm just going to move it off to the side over here. It's, 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 I'm not doing anything particularly grand with it. It's just I'm going to park it over there. Because uh, that way we've then got the loop that we can use to go round the sheep pen, should we desire to. Uh, there's one bit... Wasn't there a bit over here somewhere that I thought was a bit rough on the... No. No, actually, that's all right. Okay. Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I knew I'd forget something. I absolutely knew that I would forget something. And what I forgot when I took that log up there, I took the, the load of logs up there, was I forgot to swap this over. Right. I get you. I wanted to get that one. And I wanted to carry that tree with me. The dodgy tree. The one that's not supposed to really exist. I was supposed to carry that one with me so that I could sell that one at the same time and I completely forgot to go and do that so we'll grab that one up right now it's just this bit up here this is this is the end of it right here we want to get that and oh wait a minute I'm using my joystick and that's opening the the roof it's, it's not opening the, the, the stole log fork that's not very helpful that's not very helpful at all because it's not opening this is it's not opening the roof open crane tool don't open the roof <laughs> I can't open the log fork because the crane to even though that the track is not selected right is still opening and closing the roof rather than opening and closing the stole log fork. And whether I use the mouse or my joystick, it's it's doing exactly the same. Okay, that is more than a little bit frustrating. I cannot believe that it's actually doing that. It's, it's actually stopping me from using the log fork because of the, the roof on the... You know... These so-called improvements that keep being made to this tractor is slowly making, the, the, like, the sound. The sound was an improvement. But whoever the person is that created this tractor, can you stop sending out improvements? Right, the sound is the only thing I've currently approved of with the improvement on this tractor. But the, the, the whole thing with the roof, I was able to use the log fork before. Um, we could have the front hydraulics on it before. That worked as well. That was really good. And now we can't use front hydraulics. We can't use um, we can't use front hydraulics and a loader. We we don't have that option. You've taken that away from us because you think we're childish and stupid. And you've now also completely broken the loader altogether. I can't use the loader. It it will not let me use an opening and closing loader because you decided to go and break that as well. Um, whoever you are, whoever the person is that made this mod, can you please stop? updating it it's slowly getting worse and yes i don't normally complain particularly about mods i do appreciate that there are a lot of work to go and make but i mean really you you know if, if you're gonna make a mod at least test it before you before you send it out at least and giants seriously this mod has been passed by you 
and it's unusable, right? I literally, I cannot use this mod. I'm not able to do what I want to do with this mod. So now we've got to do it the other way. Right. Little rant over. I will be getting rid of this tractor as soon as possible, and I will not be using it again. That is a simple solution to this. It's not a, it's not a, a brand of... Tr well, the, the actual brand itself, I don't mind. But this particular mod of the tractor... I'm not a fan of. You, you may have noticed. Um, it's 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 getting worse. So I won't be using it in any other playthroughs, and I'm going to get rid of it as soon as we can on this one as well. I've had about enough of it. Um, yes, I know. I've, I've taken the time and the energy to go and, and upgrade it, and we've spent money on it, and I'm now regretting that. I'm regretting the decision to bring it onto the farm in the first place. We should have stuck with something different. Right, there. Now, I've got four little logs because I can't go and pick up the actual logs using the stole log fork because your mod wants me to open the roof of the tractor instead. I'm not feeling great, chat. I, I, I did tell you I've got a bit of a cold today. And when I say I've got a bit of a cold, it's, it's, it's an absolutely stinking cold that woke me up really, really early. And um, it's, it's just generally making me feel really genuinely rotten. And I'm not very charitable when I have a cold. You ask, you go and ask my wife. Ask Senleia. I am really not very charitable when I have a cold. So, um, yeah, the fact that this one is opening its roof when I'm trying to open a... Um, uh, trying to open a, a, a log grab or an anything on the front loader and it won't let me do it because it's flapping the roof up and down nope unacceptable completely unacceptable i'm not buying it i don't care what your reasons are it shouldn't be happening right it should not be happening that should just be limited to l and m the same as what everybody else does or put it on the put it on an ic control or something like that honestly right let's go into there get rid of that lot yeah, what a run around that was. We will go and get rid of... You know what? That, that, that I don't even... I'm, I'm, I'm going to close that one down. And we're never going to speak of it again. That is the end of that bit. It is over. It is done with. We go and get our stump grinder going now. And we will grind out a few stumps. We've got quite a few that we're going to need to get rid of over here anyway. And if we can slice away a good chunk of those stumps, um, it means that we'll be very soon able to start ploughing up the new field. And that is something I'm actually quite looking forward to doing. Getting the new field, getting it all sort of set up and done. Not just because of the new field. I'm, I'm, in part, I'm looking forward to doing this because I'm looking forward to the next big harvest. Um, being able to do all the silage bales off of that field. We're going to get a lot of silage bales off of this field, aren't we? Right, let's bring you in round this way. There. Like that. And I'm going to put it like that. I know it's not straight, but it's sort of... It's, it's over a little bit, so it's a little bit more out of the way. I'm comfortable with it. I'm comfortable with it just as it is. doesn't need to be changed. It's fine. Right, which side does this needs to be on this side? Bring that one round there like that. There we go. Right. We are ready. Let's roll. So we've got a we got three stumps in a line right here, which I'm gonna get if I back up to that one first, right there. There we go. Right, all I gotta do is just put the stump grinder down and then it it does what it needs to do. So there's the next one. Get that done there. And I can actually just start pulling forwards like this. And I can literally just drive around with the stump grinder now. Um, because we've got the slight power upgrade on the tractor, it will allow us to do this. No, that doesn't mean I'm giving you a free pass with your tractor and telling you that it's wonderful. I can't use the log grab. Do you remember? Do you remember the log grab incident? If you do an upgrade and you fix that bit, then I, I might be a little bit more, you know, charitable, forgiving. And I may also apologise for the nasty things that I've said about your mod next week when I'm feeling a little bit better. It wasn't that nasty. I just said fix your mod. Why have you released a broken mod? 
I can't do my log grabbing. Not that I'm... Yeah, I, I, I think I'm being a bit sort of... Um, well, one, not very nice. Um, and, and two, I'm making the assumption that the person that created this mod is actually watching this series in the first place, which is rather an arrogant assumption to, to, to make. It's, it's, it's rather presumptuous. Pre pre presumptuous? Pre 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 presumptive? There's a word there that I'm looking for that I can't quite get. Um, pre pre presumative? No. I, I don't know. You, you know pre 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 presumption? I'm, I'm presumptive? I, I don't know. It's something like that. It's something very close to that. That is, that is the word I'm looking for. It's very, very close to it. Right, I'm just going to... I'm going to leave that one down. Although, going uphill. He doesn't seem to like going uphill quite as much as going downhill. We take that one off of there, like that. And then we bring that on round. You know, if I switch off there, it'll run a little bit better. So we get to that point. And then ease on forward a bit like that. Right, that's that bit done. And now we'll go up here and we get that one right there take you off there's another one right beside us I'm curious how long it's going to take us to get all of these out of the way the big thing that I really want to do is I want to mark out the the new field I, I really really want to get started on planting that new, new well plowing the new field starting to plow the new field is something that I'm looking forward to. Doing most of the work for ploughing the field, it, you know, with the we're, we're using the cultivator that we've got, but still, it's it's um, you know, it's slightly faster than a regular plough. It's still going to take a rather long time. Doing the the bulk of the work is not something I'm particularly looking forward to because it's going to be an extremely slow and tedious process. But it's it you know it's it's still all right. It's we're still adding a, a substantial chunk of new land to our farm, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Uh, let's go up to that bit right there. Take that out, and then I'll just lift it up a bit. There, there's that one out. I've got two over this way, which I want to get. Get that one right there that and then I got another one right beside it which I can go and get and there that's that one gone see some of these stumps up here that I'm working on at the moment aren't actually going to be in the new field at all they'll be just outside of it but that's absolutely fine that doesn't matter because they will eventually come into new fields right it will all be part of new fields we're going to be starting working from here up the hill next and we're going to go all the way up to the very top I'm just going to start working a strip all the way up to the very top of our land uh, to the road at the very top on the side and we'll start working a strip there and I was kind of thinking that if we had a couple of those we, we could kind of like do strip fields up through there because th there's quite a few places where you have fields that are all done in very very long strips Rather than doing them in big blocks and squares and that, they do them in big long strips instead. And let's just straighten that bit up there. I got one here. I got another one directly in front of me. Which I can take out. There. Oh, there's another one. No, I'm going to leave that one because I'm going to go up here and get these two before I forget them. See, there's three, four, there's four trees I'm looking at right here. That I'm wondering if I should have taken those out as well. Now, now that I'm looking at them just, just on this little bit. I'm guessing overall though, it's not something that we would have wanted to take out. You know, we look along the entire line. Which I'm not going to do right now. I'm going to go back down here and... Right, I got... Yeah, there's a, a big clump of trees that we took out here. So I got two stumps there. Two stumps right up here. Is that one there? No. I thought there was another one right there, but there wasn't. And then we got that one. 
over this way. There's another one right in front of us there. If you're going slightly downhill, you don't even need to lift the stump grinder up. You can just leave it on the ground and just keep hacking forwards. And it takes everything out. It's pretty good like that. I mean, if we had a more powerful tractor, you could probably just leave the thing on the ground and travel around in circles at a fairly reasonable speed as well. Oops. Okay, I lowered it down and turned it off. Not the best way to go about it. And now if I back down here, I've got... Uh, I've actually got loads and loads of them right here on this bit. So we'll take those two out there. We'll go back down to the others in a minute. Go we'll back up to that one there. Remove you. And then that one right there. And then right in front we've got another one. And there's three that are right close together just up here. Right there. And then two more. Well, there's two right there that are pretty much touching. And then I got these two over here. That one and the next one over as well, like that. And then there's another one just there. That we can remove. Uh, right, now where are we looking? So we've, we've worked our way all the way along. Just in one line. And there is a huge, huge area that we have still... It is actually quite amazing just how many trees we've already taken out. Right, when you really stop to think about it, there is a massive amount of trees that we have already removed from this map. Impressively so. Okay, I am actually impressed with the number of trees that we've already removed. It's... It's surprising, really, when you stop to think about it, just just how much we have already done. It is genuinely surprising, and it's, it's quite awesome. It is quite awesome that we've already managed to remove that many. I don't know... Oh, actually, no, doesn't it tell us? Doesn't it have a statistic for number of trees? Cut? We'll have a look at that in a sec. Let me just spin that back round. I've got a stump, two stumps I can see right there. Wow. I actually went so fast with this one that it didn't properly remove a stump. I think that might be a first. Put that down there. Right. Well, let's keep going forwards. We'll go up there and we'll take this one. And then there's a several more up here in a big clump. I got one there. And then all the way around like this. A little bit more. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And we're done. Bring it on round again. And then I've got two right there that I want to go. And another two beside me. This is four. There's a fifth one just up ahead of us. Lots and lots of stumps right here. I kind of don't really want to go and look at how much we've... How many trees we've removed. Mainly because it's going to give me an indication of how many stumps we've got to go because we've got well we, we've taken out quite a lot of them now but um it, it's at least half of the stumps well it, it'd be this area here is bigger than the first area so we've got um more than we had to start with and it took us long enough to remove all the stumps the first time around all right just on that little bit down the bottom it's, it still took us quite a while to remove all the stumps from that bit that one out there. And I'll come over to you. Although I did, I did like sort of drift up into this area, removing stumps as well. I, I kind of went through the whole lot. And there's that one. I'll go this way so that I make sure I get all of the stumps. Otherwise, I'll, otherwise I'll go. I'll sort of get sidetracked, and I'll end up missing a few. That's, that's the difficult part. Is they easily get sidetracked. Right. Drop that one down there. Put it forwards. There's another one. Now, do you see any more stumps just on this little area right here? Because at the moment, I don't. Have a look at statistics in here. 
Trees cut down, 381 in total. So we've chopped down 381 trees in total on this map so far. That's pretty good going, that is. 381 trees. That is quite impressive. Actually, I chopped down... I, I removed the stumps on quite a sizable area here. I don't see any tree stumps here at the moment. I'm quite impressed with that. I didn't think that I'd removed anywhere near as many as this. Right, I want a little bit of a break from grinding tree stumps. So I'm going to lower that one down a minute. And I'm just going to unhitch it. And I'm going to go over this way. We're going to go back through here. I know that we've still got loads and loads of tree stumps to take out. We'll be coming back to those. I'm hoping we've got most of them done from down here. Because what I'd like to do is I'd like to just plow one line along the top. Just so that we can mark out the edge of our field. That X lifter there. I'm not sure if we're going to be using that very much anymore. We might. I, I, I don't know at the moment. It depends if we decide to use it for any bags. I probably won't because I got rid of the um, the need for the bags, didn't I? Like by going and um, doing it the other way. Getting the, the thingies here. Right. Uh, allow create fields. We'll put that one on. And then let's just get rid of that. So that will come up here that direction like that and then what I'm going to do here is I want to line this up very roughly with where the edge of this is going to go right we're going to go straight up through there like that and sort of look in here Right, that's a dead straight line up through there. It's just on the edge, like on the bottom edge of the, the curve. And then that, I think, would be a good spot for the end of the field. So we'll lower that one down right there. We're creating a field. And all I'm going to do, I'm not going to, because we're on the keyboard steer, I'm not going to touch the steering at all. We're just going to go in a dead straight line up here. That bush right there on the side has been missed by the cultivator. And that really does irritate me that we've missed that one right there. Just right on the very edge of the field. I don't like it when it does that. And that's actually spot on perfect, I think. Bringing this up through here. It's going to go into a straight line up here. I'm actually going to turn ever so slightly I think when we get over here and I'm going to bring it round like that there to go to the edge and that's I'm going to go a little bit there that's as far as I'm going to go right uh you know what? I now actually regret that decision. I regret the decision moving that like I did. I think I should have just left it well enough alone. So what I'll do is I'll go back into this. And we'll just try and make sure that I've got it straightened back up again. In a rough line with where it was. Like that. I'll lower that back in. And I'll let that one carry on going this way. There. Because it's not going to... That's, that's, that's better. It, it does need to be like that. It's so that the, the next field is right as well. Uh, so I want to go forward a little bit more. I bring that out like that. And then I want to just mark down this edge down here. It's whether or not I take out that signpost as we go down through. I may, I may not. I'm not quite decided. But anyway, we have run out of time for today's episode. So if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. I will just run this down to the bottom. We'll also see if this signpost here is going to... It does knock over. That's fine. I'm quite happy to do that. 
Not happy to do that, because that's now knocked us around a little bit, but quite happy to plough over the sign. Mainly because I didn't want to wiggle around it. I know that's not overly realistic, but it, I can live with that. There. We'll bring that out through here. So I am going onto the road ever so slightly. But that'll be fine. We'll bring that right around that corner there. Yeah, so long as we don't have any, like, major issues with it wanting to tell us that we don't own the land or something. I'm going to go slightly to the side of this sign, like that, because it'll work out nicely for going around the corner. Right, there we go. We have now made the outline of the field. And I'm going to turn off the allow create field. I'm going to leave that one right there. And just going to lower that one down there. I know it's just cultivated away my grass seed on that bit, which was probably a bit daft, but still. Uh, so until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.